What's up guys, this is Big No Bunch back with another video and if you haven't, go down there and subscribe, like this video and ring that notification bell and if you can't tell, we've got some deer mineral here. We're about to set up some cameras and see if we can see any bucks. So let's get on to the video. So uh, we got us some new product we're excited about. It's called Forget Genetics. Uh, it's veteran owned company, so you need to check them out. Uh, Forget Genetics. Uh, and believe it or not, I am. I do have a wildlife management degree, and a lot of people don't have, uh, you know, tractors and stuff to do the food plots. We're actually on the edge of one of our, what we call our food plots slash. We'll be uh, chopping this for some silage to uh, uh, cornfield here for cattle. But uh, if you don't have, you know, the tractors and all that stuff, and can't get the food plots out, this is the number one thing I think you can use uh, for your for your deer herd uh one you can uh like we're gonna put this in front of a trail camera you can survey your deer see what you got on your property it also uh meant a good quality mineral like forget genetics it's gonna it's gonna help build the bone build them antlers on them bucks uh, it's also gonna help your uh does when they're lactating uh help the fawns but right here is uh to me is one of the best things you can do uh, and not have to have tractors and all that stuff and I recommend keeping it out year-round uh, you know a lot of people uh, will start putting it out closer to deer season it really needs to be on the ground year-round you know freshen up your site pretty regular this is a new site for us we haven't had this farm very long uh, so we're new spot kind of excited to see what uh, what deer we coming in we hunted it last year the back side of the farm uh, we, we had we've seen a lot of deer yeah. uh, we had a, a few bucks on camera uh, we're actually cutting hay on the back back part of the farm and seeing two really nice bucks so uh, we're hoping that uh, they're around here but forget genetics uh, check them out this is one of the, the best things you can do for your deer herd. You know, keep a good quality mineral out uh, year round. You know, uh, um, especially, you really want to get it out around that uh, March. And like I said, keep it out year round. I think it's also good, you know, bucks after a rut, uh, they're kind of wore down. The stuff will help them, you know, build back the nutrients they need. So, forget genetics. Uh, and check these guys out. And if I could tell it, if y'all could smell it, it smells amazing. Yeah, yeah, if we had smell a vision you can. Yeah. And, and we're actually putting out the sweet corn. Uh, we're gonna go to our next site and uh, the, the, yeah, the acorn. Uh, but they smell, smells great. So uh, we'll get this put out and hopefully we'll have a video here in a few weeks of some, some monsters on camera. So. That's what the inside of it looks like. If you want to look at the back, that's what it looks like. And it's a resealable bag. It, so if you're pouring out just half a bag and wanting to see, like just test out other spots, you can seal it back up and take it to the next spot and you're now, good to go. go. Got some more to go. Take the whole bag. There we go. Deer should be in here in no time. That's that looks really good. Deers, deers will like this. The deers, once they see it, their eyes are gonna glow up and they're gonna eat it as soon as they see and it. And if you look, I don't know if y'all can see it, we put it on trail. So when the deers are walking, they'll smell it. And they'll start eating it, so we'll get used to them. I'm probably gonna set a ground blind there when it comes early um, bow season for our crossbow that we got two years ago, I'm pretty sure. So if we keep on getting him here, the does start wanting to come here. And you want does when the rut comes, because that's when the bucks are here. 
and that's when you found the big boat. Let me get the bush. Just knock it down. So we're at our second place. Um, we um, scraped a stick out to get us a good pile, so we pour it down. And um, we're we're at a place where we um, there's this buck called Muley, and he's probably 160 inch buck. We've had about two or three years of history with him, and we're gonna see if we can see him early, so we can get a good track on him. Maybe early season, maybe kill him. Who knows? And we're going to pour some out right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll get genetics. Is hopefully going to get mule in here. So, get this. You sprinkle around, you'll get the smell. So that's the second bag we poured out, and um, hopefully in a couple more weeks we've got Muley on camera. If we do, we'll tell you all, and if we don't, we'll still tell you if we got deer on camera. So with that, Beth, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And, and with big, that, big, big no